Hi guys, welcome to today's video. As the title suggests, I'm leaving, but only for the 10 days. So I'm going to Perth this week, um, just doing a massive road trip with my best friend. We're just gonna drink a bunch of wine basically and sightsee. Um, so we have a huge week ahead to prepare for when I'm away. So let's get straight into the top five sold items from this weekend. Monday morning, eh? <laughs> yeah. Monday morning, we're back. Um, Last Monday morning together for a while? Absolutely it is. Off on Thursday, Courtney won't be in. So Courtney's doing Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Courtney's in very early today, 7 a.m. Monday morning. We're doing the What's Sold. We're gonna go out and do some thrifting. We've got flea market content. This is gonna be a massive video today. This is the top five What's Solds of the weekend. Um, this one comes in at number five. This is a game that I picked up in a bulk deal. I've never heard of it. Assetto Corsa, you played that one? I think I have. Have you? I like those games, like Grand Tourism and stuff like that. Grand Tourism, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh there yeah, you go. Tourism. <laughs> At least if you played it and I haven't. Um, this one sold for $30. So pretty decent, 30 bucks. Uh, I don't think there was any internationals on that one there, but still a pretty good pretty good sale price. The other one as well that came in for a very similar amount. You good? <laughs> Just tripping on all of our listings. This one. <laughs> this one here, Sailor Moon. We sold Sailor Moon. This is volume 11 now. I bought these at a cash converters for $15. That's the price that I actually bought it for. So 15 bucks, we sold this for $31. Um, plus we got some international postage as well. So I think there was a $20 international postage rate. I paid up, but I knew that it was gonna turn around for some quick money and some good money. I've actually bought four of these as well. And I think I, bought, I got a bit of a deal as well. I think I ended up paying about $10 each. Um, so all of them have sold. This is the last one that we've got. And they all went for about 35 to $40. So if you could find this Sailor Moon on DVD, hopefully a little bit cheaper than what I picked it up for, uh, there's some serious profit in that one there. That comes in at number four. All right, so number three is this WWE microphone. I feel like anything WWE sells well for Does. us. Um, and we got this one in a big bulk buyout in January. So it sold for 30, 30? 30 bucks. Yeah. Um, so I've got to do some arts and crafts and get this in a nice box package. Um, probably be about like 10, $12 to ship it. Um, but yeah, number three. It's a good one. Courtney's right. Wrestling, uh, anything wrestling sells really well. So the fact that we've got the microphone sell, it's all of these um, wrestling action figures that we've got down here. Um, you won't see it, but it's hiding down there. A lot of individual action figures. And I've actually sold a few this weekend. So here's a really good example. These are a few of our other sales that didn't quite make the top five. Um, that one there sold for about 15. Um, this one here sold for about 15 as well. So as you can see, the wrestling figure category is definitely a good one for you guys to be focusing on. ASICS Gel Contend 7, um, $42, bought for 10, had these in a video, I want to say maybe a week ago, um, so the sell-through rate we're talking about maybe 7 to 10 days. Soles are in pretty good condition, I spoke about that when I was in the thrift, I really loved the fact that they had some good wear left in them. Uh, gel Contend 7, so there you go. That's um, Number 2? That one surprised me. Yeah, they're basically both the number oh, ones, yeah. uh, both $40, these newies as well, um, they came in for 40 bucks. Um, no international post on this one here, but a, a shoe brand that I love to find. Again, the condition being great. We're going to go out and do some thrifting in this video today. Hopefully, we can find a few more of these sorts of items because $40 worth of an average sale price, which is typically what we get for our shoes, uh, is a much higher average sale price than all of the DVDs that we're currently listing up. So, more shoes is the aim of the day. Um, hopefully, we can find a few, but these two have rounded out the top five as the best of our weekend. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harp on any of these categories for too long, but I mean we always sell hats. They came through for about 25 each. Um, we've got a place, uh, PlayStation One game there as well. Sell pretty cheap. eBay store buyout back in January, the big bulk buyout that sold for about 19 dollars. Another WWE. Another WWE. Absolutely right. Oz Attack card game. I mean just really misc type items. This one was a good one. Clever Man. Um, two season set. That one sold for about 25 with international. Uh, a Simpsons DVD. I think it was like 20 bucks yeah something like that 20 bucks i think that one's international yeah that one did go internationally the simpsons um and then a lot of other sort of cheap winners there as well so you know they're, they're all little bits and pieces and they're not massive sales but they do add up over time the issue is that australia post has obviously up their postage rate by 10 percent corny annoying isn't it it's frustrating <laughs> it's very frustrating and this is where the focus around these sorts of items when we're out sourcing as a result of the price increase we're probably going to stop sourcing these sorts of things yeah because like we're going to put this into a small satchel and that's going to cost us ten dollars it's sold for 15. it's ridiculous so we're going to kind of net out as a nil result on that now 
So luckily this was a part of a big bulk buyout. Yeah. We're already well into the profit. Yeah. Um, but if you're just going out to a thrift store and you're trying to buy that to sell it for 15 with $10 postage, you wouldn't just wouldn't recommend. do it. No, would not do it. Uh, and that's why the e-profit calculator is really important as well when you're out in the thrift to really break down those numbers uh, to know what you're in for. But um, I thought I'd just show you them because we're going to try and put all this into a mailbag now and um, yeah, get out and do some thrifting. So while Courtney goes ahead and does the post, uh, I'm gonna take you guys into my local flea market. I was out there yesterday morning and I was able to pick up a bunch of really cool items that we're gonna be listing up today to sell onto eBay. So let's dive into the flea and I'll show you what I was able to grab. Hey. Good morning, my man. How are you been? Hey, you got a new subscriber. Hey brother, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Kieran. Uh, Kieran? I only spent about 10 hours watching your content last time. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate it, man. No, it's, it's, it's addicting. It's addictive. Yeah, well, this is addictive down here. Yeah, he's been trying to grab me, come down for the past year, and I've just been sleeping. Well, sleeping? Yeah. No, you got to get down, mate. Be Best time to be here. Thank you, babe. How you doing? Good, thanks. How much on these ones? Uh, one of 30. 30. All the needles are clean. Yeah, they're not, they're not too bad, are they? Yeah, I'll have a think about it. Thank you, though. Okay. Have a good one. Oh, look at it. Look at what do you got there? The 30s. Look at the 30s. That's like OG 30s. Isn't it ever? <laughs> wow. Do you know if they work? Okay. Just get it on memory, no, but I do have batteries. You do have batteries? Yeah. And then that one's a more modern one, is it? That's a newer one, yeah. That one, yeah. How much on them? Um, I'd like this one for payback, but I'd like to get 20 for that one. 20 on that one? And 15 on this one. 20 and 15, yeah, okay. I haven't got a price on yet. Um, I'd actually have no idea, so I just, I someone asked before, but, you know, it's like 10 bucks. I said it's okay. And then how? Oh, just $2 for that. So $20. Um, Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Are you taking the furbies? I don't know. Are you? I'll meet you on YouTube. I'll oh, do. You? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That. What, what would you do? I would. You would. Yeah. How much are they? Twenty and fifteen. Yeah, I reckon. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, it's tempting. It's I haven't seen that old school one for a long time. No, it's really small. It's yeah. I collected Furbies for a long time. Did you? And that's the only one that I found in a box. And that's really? a baby as well, so it's not like a ridiculous change. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Um, I've got these two. Okay. Um, I'd like 20 for that one at least. Yep. And that one, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. And then, is $20 on that one? Yeah, that's your best price? Yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Dolphins, Miami Dolphins jacket? Oh, no, I didn't get that one. That was 60 bucks. Oh. 60 bucks a lifeline. Yeah, it was a bit expensive. Damn. Yeah, it would be good for 20 bucks. Absolutely. Jeez, have a look at these. 70 bucks. Authentic dunks. They definitely are authentic. $90 though. How much on this one, mate? 15? 15? No, 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 go lower. Seven. Slash it. Uh, what are you thinking? I'll give you five. Can we meet at six? Let's do seven. Let's do seven. Oh, you're a good man. Let's do, Let's seven. do seven. All good, mate. So you might have seen me negotiating with this one down to $5. It was already a pretty good price at seven. But the reason being is because it's going to cost a lot to ship off. So I think it could be about $12 to $15 to ship. So if it sells for $45, I kind of need to get it to 5 to make a profit. So I'm happy with the fact that it came down and I ended up taking 7 which isn't the end of the world. It should be about $10 profit in this when it's all said and done. Pretty happy to come across those Nike shocks. They're a really good shoe. Um, I have sold them a few times before. I think the value of those ones is probably going to be about $50. Um, if they're in better condition, you can get upwards of 100 But to pay 5 are in OK Nick. I was happy to go ahead with the purchase. Yes, yeah. Got those there. Yeah, just two, four, six, eight. No worries, yeah. all good, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Two dollars. Amazing. Lovely, thank you. Thanks, heaps. Well, guys, it wasn't easy in there, to be honest with you. I only picked up the seven items. We spent $65. I think the Furbies were definitely the best of the bunch. Um, you know, $35 should convert into about $150, I'd say. Um, but yeah, just light on, unfortunately. Usually, we do pretty well in there. So, I'm gonna need a few more items. Let's get into the thrift stores and we'll see what we can pick up in there. These could be all right. Nemesis. Oh, Kobe's. Kids Kobe's. That's awesome. What do you got? This book is a $22 pre owned it's 50 cents. Great. And then that one? I don't know, I was just scanning them. 18, 15, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Hello. Like it. Um, a pair of Kobe's, like Kobe Bryant basketball shoes. Mm. Size so 6 youth, and these are some Adidas Nemesis. With a quick clean, yeah. that'd actually be pretty good. And they're both five, but the Kobe's. Yeah, they were just sitting in there. I don't think any of them are any good. But these Kobe's were only two dollars. <laughs> Crazy. It's amazing. So this one here, it's worth about twenty-five to thirty, and it's only got six on it. Brisbane Lions Victory Pack. Pick that up as well. You gonna get it? Gonna get that as well. All right. Football boots, Kobe's, DVDs, books for Courtney. It's not a bad first stop. Pretty good. Pretty good. Didn't pay a lot either, which was great. Um, so that's one down. We're going to do another couple more before lunch because we're both starving. And we're going to go and get Poe as well today. Or Foe. No, it's probably Foe. Poe. Is it Poe or Foe? Let us know in the comments. Courtney just got freaked out by some birds. She saw like seven magpies in one spot. Going into like a kid's playground. And then I said, I'd leave my kids for dead. Like, obviously joking, but like, not really. Just can't stand birds. 
You got a real fear, fear of birds. Yeah. We get a coffee every single Monday morning and we can't sit outside. No. Because Courtney just freaks out of the birds. No, because that cafe, there's so many birds. Yeah, there is. There is a lot, but they're not there to kill you, though. No, they are. <laughs> they're waiting for the right time. LeBron. Here you go. Hold these up. Lakers. Lakers. And then... Miami Heat. Hussein Whiteside. Now, I've got a question for you. $10 each, do you think they're genuine or fake? What do you reckon? Do you think the quality is good? I think they're genuine. You reckon they're genuine? But how do you know they're genuine? Well, these are fake. How do you know? This is a good telltale sign here. It says made in Thailand. Mm. So the tag looks quite fake. But even just the general material of this as well and this tag down here <laughs> just doesn't look authentic. Yeah. Even though it says authentic there. And also, too, there's usually an inner tag, and I bet these don't. Well, they do. <laughs> they do. Mm. It says made in Thailand. I just don't think it is. Yeah. I don't think it's legit. Just found this, and this one actually looks genuine to me versus the ones we were just looking at. I don't know. It's a cool Brooklyn jersey. It's the embroidery that looks quite good as well. The stitching looks pretty good. The tag as well, like that looks to be more genuine. $22, I won't be buying it. But Big Williams on the back. Yeah, that looks nice. The size of the numbers, the size of the name as well. A couple of giveaways as well. So yeah, good size, extra large. It's also a swingman, like it's a 2XL. Um, so it's got this extra length as well, which tells me that it's probably genuine. Um, I was just comparing this one to the yeah. ones that we saw in the other store. But I, th I think this one's a genuine one. Yeah. But it's, 20, it's 22 bucks. Yeah. So I'll leave it, but it's a good example of what... Yeah, to look for. Yeah, it's what to look for. That's probably real. That's so hard to tell, though. Mm. That's, that's so well done. Yeah, yeah, there's some really, really good fakes out there. I also found these as well. I've just happened to do a little bit of a voiceover here because of copyright issues with the music playing in the background. But these are the Nike Air Max 90. They're the Hyperfuse. Awesome colorway as well. So comps on eBay for these actually go for a couple of hundred odd dollars. But given the condition of these, I think we're going to be more looking around the 70 maybe $80 price point. Uh, they are a women's US 8.5 as well. So the size is pretty good. Uh, but the condition was obviously excellent. So to pick these up for $15, after fees and posts, there's probably going to be maybe $30 to $40 worth of profit here. So this was a really good pickup. And uh, there was another pair of shoes as well that we were able to buy. So all up, there were two pairs of shoes, 15 each. Should be some good return. What are we doing? What are we doing? Snacks? Snacks in here. Let us know in the comments, what is the best listing snack? Yeah, healthy, please. Healthy? Yeah. You want a healthy listing snack? Yeah. Oh. The premium Billabong blend. No, oh, I thought it was a health kit. Oh, what sours? Yeah. Oh. Okay. They're the best. Yeah. They're like super sour. No, that's great. I thought it would be. There's milk bottles in here. That's a Coke bottle. Sorry, a Coke bottle. <laughs> How cool. Yeah, it's good. There's a bag of worms. It was a Coke bottle. No, it's a mix. Oh. A bunch of Seinfeld and a bunch of Everybody Loves Raymond in a big box set, the complete series. Look at that. How much is it? 65. 15. The only thing is though, it's region one. Region two. Region two. This is region two. It's 
one. That one? 65. Yeah, okay. If you've got a region free player though, it's fine. I'm so 50 50 on it. What do you think? How much do you think? Yeah. Mm. 15 to make 16. Mm. Probably not. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And that was no good. We did find these though. This one here, Condemned 2, complete with manual. That was going for about 20. And then we also found this as well, the Elder Scrolls. This is actually worth about 25, and it's complete as well. Um, got its manual in there, plus the game. Game is in good condition. So this one here was only $3, and then this one here was 5 So 8 bucks, two good games, complete with good discs. About 45 worth of value there. Going to go with The Simpsons as well, Season 2. So there's three there. There you go, Courtney. All right, frustratingly, we've got seasons one and season three of this TV show, A Sea Change. Now, if we find one more, season two, it's worth $50. So I'm really adamant about scanning all of these DVD racks to try and find them. The issue is we've gone through every single one here and we haven't found it. So I'm gonna pull one of the oldest tricks in the book and I'm gonna ask the ladies if we can find season two from out the back. Now, no stress, all good. Appreciate that. So there you go guys, it was nine items. We had those video games that were actually pretty decent at 20 odd dollars. That Sea Change DVD guys, if you can find this season one, two and three, 50 bucks, but one, two, one and three there should make us about 30 I would say. Uh, this one for 30, this one for 20, some Kobe's, some good ASICs. These are a really nice pair of women's shoes. And then the footy boots, which should go on for about 40. So some decent money, not exactly sure how much we spent today, but another nine listings, not too bad. So Courtney's downstairs listing up all of those items. And in the meantime, I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on something really exciting going on with this YouTube channel. I've just recently launched a Discord and there's 145 people now in this Discord and they're all chatting away and talking about anything and everything relating to eBay. I've got a couple of different channels within the Discord. You can go in and do a buy, sell and trade. Um, so you can have a look at what people are trying to sell, pick up a couple of deals and obviously make a few dollars if you're trying to offload a few items yourself. Um, there's a Q&A page as well, so if you've got an eBay-related question, put it in there. Somebody within the Discord community will answer it. It's ultimately just a networking group, guys. It's a great way to connect you guys with people that you would have had no opportunity to connect with otherwise. And it's really cool for me to be able to provide that opportunity for you. So if it's something that you're interested in, it's moving to my YouTube channel membership. That's where the benefit is. If you want access into the Discord, just join up as a YouTube channel membership. That was and has always been $4.99. Uh, it will stay $4.99 a month as well. Cancel any time. 20% discount in my eBay store for anything that you see me pick up in these videos. Um, and then obviously you get the extra video every single month as well, plus all of the other videos that I've published uh, already over the last year. And now access to the Discord. All the details for the channel membership is in the description below. So go and check it out. It'd be awesome to get you on board. Um, guys, I'm gonna leave you with this video right here. It was a big flea market video from a couple of weeks ago. Bought a bunch of good stuff that's gone on to sell for a profit on eBay. Thanks for tuning into this video, guys. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so yet already. We're really, really close to hitting 20,000 subscribers. It'd be great to get you on board. So go ahead, hit the sub. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.